What's up, everybody? This is Hip Hop Explained, where I break down the terms and history behind hip hop songs so you don't have to research or ask your friends. Yo, man, I'm building, I'm building, man. I was saying, like, remember, like, back in, like, in 70, 79? Everybody was on our lives. Nah, nah, 87. That was my favorite. Everything was running out, man. Everything was lovely, man. Yo, get the, get the out the rain. Oh, so who the f is that? Hey, yo, Ghost, yo, Ray! What's up with y'all, man? Y'all niggas. First things first, let's acknowledge the song that was sampled for the intro and the chorus of this song. It's Gladys Knight's version of the song, The Way We Were. It's a great song, and I urge you to go give it a spin. Hey, you know, everybody's talking about the good old days, right? Everybody, the good old days, the good old days. Well, let's talk about the good old days. Hey, you know, everybody's talking about the good old days, right? Everybody, the good old days, the good yeah. old days. Good old days. Well, yeah. let's talk about the good old let's days. Let's talk about Here you'll notice one of two very important pieces of street art in the music video. This one is a memorial piece for a friend of Wu-Tang Clan members named Two Cent, who died from gunshot wounds to the chest. I would like to point out the iconic Snow Beach jacket Raekwon is wearing. If you watch my breakdown of the song Cream by Wu-Tang, you'll remember the low goose and low sweater slang terms Raekwon used. This jacket is another polo item that was highly sought after, often having resale price tags of twenty dollars to $30,000 until Polo chose to re-release some of their items. As rappers started increasing the popularity of the clothing line, certain groups would team up to steal them from stores and people wearing them with the intention of wearing what they liked and selling the rest. Groups such as USA, Universal Shoplifters Association, or the Low Lifes, with Low being short for Polo. Started off on the island, AK Shallon, rubber wailing, gunshots thrown the phone dialing. In this line, Raekwon's referring to Staten Island as the island, aka Shaolin, basically saying his story started out in Staten Island. I explained the Shaolin reference in my Wu Tang Cream video. Niggas wildin', gunshots thrown, the phone dialing means guys were going crazy on the streets and shooting people, and bystanders were calling for emergency services. Back in the days, I'm eight now, making a tape now. Ray gotta get a plate now. Making a tape means he started recording music, referring to cassette tapes, and gotta get a plate now means he has to eat, aka get paid very soon due to his predicament. Ignorant and mad young, wanted to be the one till I got blah, blah, blah. From this line, he explains he was a wild young man who wanted to be on top of the street life until he got shot. Yeah, my pops was a fiend since 16, shooting that, that's that, in his bloodstream. Here he's telling us that his father was a drug addict at 16 years old and he was injecting heroin. That's the life of a crime, real life crime, and others know the habits behind me. Day one, yo, growing all up in the ghetto, now I'm a whip, jetting the palm metal. And Medina, yo, no doubt, the guard got crazy clout, pushing him from now south. When he says Medina, he's speaking about Brooklyn, New York. In the 5% nation lexicon, certain locations in the United States were given different names. For example, Brooklyn is Medina, Harlem is Mecca, Connecticut is New Heaven, New Jersey is New Jerusalem, Dallas is Sudan, and many more. Pushing the big joint means he was driving a large vehicle from down south. So if you feel be stacked up, better watch him back and duck, cause these beans they got it cracked up. This last line means if you're filthy rich, at least what people in the projects would consider rich, you need to keep an eye out for drug addicts that will try to steal your drugs, items, or money. Now my man from up north, now he got the law. It's solid as a rock and crazy saw. No jokes, I'm not playing. Get his folks, Desert Eagle is joint and put him in a yoke. Put him in a yoke means to put somebody in a chokehold or a hold where they can't fight back. And the note for sure, I got wreck and rip shot. I pointed to at the safe box. Open it up, kid. I want anything. Right now, boy. Word up. In this context, he got wreck and rip shop means explaining a robbery, which he amplifies by pointing a gun at his victim's mother's head to entice him to follow his directions. A move so foul that you can even hear his friend telling him not to do it. Here we have Gladys Knight's beautiful singing for the chorus. Can it be that it was all so simple then? 
Dedicated to the winners and the losers. Dedicated to all Jeeps and Land Cruisers. Dedicated to the Fox 850i. Dedicated to the here you'll see a small cameo from the Compton rapper MC8. You'll remember him from his roles in Menace to Society and as the voice of Ryder in GTA San Andreas. When Raekwon says Axe, he's referring to Acuras. Big Pun was another artist who popularized calling Acuras Axe. Dedicated to MPB Fat! Kicking the fly, cliches, doing duets, so Ray and A happens to make my day. In the line, kicking the fly, cliches, he's talking about doing the cool, expected activities you participate in when you're very successful and famous. And doing duets with Ray and A refers to him doing duets with Raekwon and Old Dirty Bastard. A stands for A Son Unique, which was Old Dirty Bastard's first rap name and his self given name in the 5% Nation. It meant a son, he was unique. Though I'm tired of busting off shots, having to rock knots, running up in spots and make it hot. Though I'm tired of busting off shots means he's tired of shooting at people. And rock knots refers to shooting or punching people in the head. Running up in spots and making shit hot means he was bursting into other people's homes or places where they sold drugs and shooting at them. This line makes a lot of sense for Ghostface because it is known that he and Raekwon used to be rival dealers that would shoot at each other. Ghostface was also shot in the neck by a rival before his rap career began. I'd rather flip shows instead of those hanging on my living room wall. My first joint and it went gold. I want a lamp, I want to be in the shade plus spotlight. Get in my throat all night. Here Ghostface is saying he wants to lamp, meaning relax, in the shade minding his business. All while still maintaining enough fame and popularity to get women whenever he chooses. I want to have me a fat yacht and enough land to go and plant my own... Planting cess crops is another way to say planting weed crops. But for now we're just a big dream. Cause I find myself in a place where I'm last seen. My thoughts must be relaxed, be able to maintain. Cause times is changed and life is strange. The glorious days is gone and everybody's doing bad. Yo, mad lives is off the grass. These two lines explain the life trajectory of people in that lifestyle, where just like in the movies, once people are selling drugs or doing other illegal things to make their money, life is very nice and comfortable at first. But soon things start going bad as more and more of your friends and associates start going to jail, getting killed, or being left with nothing to show for all of their risks and sacrifices they've made in the streets. Brothers passing away, I gotta make way. This is another important piece of street art. This wall is painted with another memorial piece for a friend of Wu-Tang Clan members named Case, who was killed by a police officer during an arrest in 1994. Receiving all types of calls from upstate means he was receiving many phone calls for many reasons from the prisons in upstate New York. People would have been calling him to tell him about bad things that have happened to them or other people he knew in the prisons, or even just to talk. Many people who have incarcerated loved ones become an emotional sponge for those that are locked up and end up sitting on the phone for hours to give their incarcerated counterparts hope. Being in Ghostface situation and having many friends locked up would mean that he was playing that support role for many different people, which could cause a large amount of extra stress on top of the stress he was already feeling from life he was leading. I can't cope with the pressure, settling for lesser. The guard left lessons on my dresser so I can bloom and blossom, find a new way, continue to make more hits of Ray and A. The lessons he's referring to would be the Supreme 120 Lessons for the Nation of Gods and Earths, which was the text that all members of the 5% Nation of Religion were expected to be familiar with. You might even face violence in prisons if you claim to be a 5%er and you didn't know your lessons. When he says the God left the lessons on his dresser, it means a black man who was also a follower of the 5% Nation left him on his dresser for him to study. Sunshine plays a major part in the daytime. Ghostface carry a black. Here you see a man pouring out some of his drink in front of the memorial for two cent, which is done as a tribute out of respect for those who have passed away. You can see MC8 here again in the vehicle with Method Man. Yeah. 
Here I'd like to point out the Howard University sweatshirt. In the earlier days of hip hop, it was popular to wear apparel from different colleges, usually historically black colleges. It is believed that this practice increased the enrollment of black students into colleges in the 80s and 90s. If you wondered why the video was done so well, it was directed by Hype Williams, who directed the film Belly and multiple music videos for Kanye West, Busta Rhymes, and others. Well that's it for this song folks. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything I got wrong or if there's any songs that you want to have explained next. Have a good day. Can it be that it was all so simple then? Can it be that it was all so simple then?